name's Greg Last and I'm the musical director of the Blonde Bombshells in 1943. So you will see being played live on stage, you will hear a solid back line of piano, upright acoustic bass and a drum kit, a rhythm section of two trumpets, a flugelhorn, two alto saxes, a tenor, saxophone, a clarinet, banjo and a considerable quantity of close part harmony singing. The music is very time specific. It is the big hits, uh, the great and the good of uh, that early 40s period. I think we tend to associate World War II with a, a, a time of, of great hardship and struggle, and of course there's huge truth to that. But within that time of hardship and struggle, they still found time to uh, express themselves through music and uh, not just through musical playing, but also through what those songs and the, what that music means to them. Music can evoke an emotional response from every person on the planet, and I think that's why it's so powerful. Everything from Glenn Miller to the Andrews Sisters, all the way through to some Russian-styled military music. 1940s music has all the ingredients of modern music now. They have drive and rhythm, they have that harmonic content, they have a catchy lyric and a catchy melody and a rip-roaring trumpet line.